Got a question for you. Mm -hmm. You have a successful brand called Drink Champs. How much do you actually drink? And On I the show or in life? People, in real life. I mean, I used to drink a lot. Like, a lot. But in recent years, you know, I have a family now. It's changed my, my habits, for sure. Um, on the show, we, we do get drunk. That is that 100% is real. genuine. But, but, but that, is, that is not water in those vodka bottles. Nah, nah. We, we drink. Like, it just doesn't feel right to not drink. It's just, we're just weird that way. But, uh, yeah, no, nah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a drinker. I'm a, I'm a drinker. I've recently, in recent years, gotten into beer more now. My, my girl's a big beer drinker. <laughs> so she's got me into craft beers and all this stuff. And so I'm not doing the hard liquor as much anymore. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm a drinker, man. You know why I asked you this? You and I have done business for years. I've never called you once and you were drunk. I never called really? you once and you didn't answer the phone or you weren't responsive or your team wasn't responsive. Right. You know, I know what you guys do on your show, but in real life, I never saw that side of E not being able to be this successful entrepreneur that you've been. You have always been on top of your game, very much about your business, what you say you do, everything that, you know, I've ever put on your, your plate, you have over-delivered for me. So I just was wondering, I'm like, yo, you know something? I don't think I've ever called you up and you're like, Sean, I got a hangover, I got to call you back. I would never use that as an excuse for sure. <laughs> Maybe you just didn't answer the phone. I don't know. But you've always <laughs> been a, a, an incredible businessman. Appreciate but, that, man. Thank yeah, you. you really have. Question for you. How much research do you guys do for your guests? What, what does that process look like? Because you, it, it's one thing to have people on the show that you know them, you go right. back with, you, you can tell these great stories. But your show has, you know, it's blossomed. You guys have people on that show that I'm sure you don't know. What does the research process look like? Nori will, will in recent episodes or recent years, I'll say, he's been Googling people, as you'll say, um, just to get, even some people he knows, just to get more stats and have more accurate stats on people. I don't like to, to research. And maybe it's because, you know, obviously, Nori's leading a lot of the conversation. Mm -hmm. But I like to go off of just like the organic side of the conversation and anything that comes up. And usually, you know, usually the artists, I know of their story. So I usually just have something already in mind, some of the stuff that I want to talk about. But we don't, we don't really do much research, man. And yeah, it's not, not much of a research type of crew like that. That's, that's so interesting because, you know, one of the things that I love about your, your show and, you know, even myself doing what I'm doing right now you guys, it always seems so organic. It always seems like you guys go back with these people for a hundred years. Like, right. you, you just, and you get them to talk. I, you know, I don't know if it's the weed. I don't know if it's the liquor. I got to believe that plays a part. Definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the liquor definitely plays a part. It's definitely the, the third uh, cast member, you know, host on the show. <laughs> All right, before I close the interview out, I want to talk to you about something that um, maybe 10 years ago, would not have even been a conversation. Right. Your white beard. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we, me and you, we're probably the first real generation of hip hop right. that is getting old successfully. Right. Still in the game, still relevant, still doing things. I don't know if the pioneers were able to trend. Yeah, you have people like LL Cool J that came before us. Um, there are a few out there who are able to transition. But I love the fact that you, you know, just like me, I, 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 I'm white. I don't, I'm not painting my beard. Right. I love yeah, the fact that you're able to, you have a, a, a full <laughs> white <laughs> beard in hip hop. And you're accepted. Back in the days, right. that was an absolute no-no. This is a young man's sport. Right, Who did right. you even make the decision to keep that? Well, look, I didn't want it to be fully white. Like, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> um, you know, I came in with a salt and pepper, and then this motherfucker just turned white on me. <laughs> and I was already in too deep. But, yeah, I just, my whole thing is just, if I can't feel comfortable in my own skin doing what I do, then what's the point? And, and I, again, like, this is me. This is, you know, and, and we're all aging. And we're, it's, it's a part of life. So 
might as well just, you know, embrace it and keep it moving. It doesn't mean that we're outdated or we, we can't stay with the times. Yeah, I don't believe in the whole ageism of stuff right now. You know, we're, I, I'm, yeah, man, I embraced it. And, you know, and, and hopefully people, you know, feel inspired by that too. <laughs> no, I think it is it's inspiring. I mean, you, you, you got to think when we were coming up, right. hip hop was considered a young man's sport, period. Absolutely. You know, you get to a certain age, you put out one too many albums, people are like, it's over for you. Like, mm -hmm. you're old, go. We don't want to hear from you. Now I'm seeing people have these long-standing careers in hip hop, no different than any other industry. So when I see you rocking that mm -hmm. white beard and so many others who are like, yo, you know what? This is just what it is. People get older, people get married. People, right. you know, once upon a time you were in the clubs all the time. I know me, and I'm sure for you, it, it, it was like, you gotta be in the clubs cause you gotta stay relevant. Right. You gotta show the industry that you are still around. Yep. You were like, yo, I don't do that no more. I, I, I made my name. I made my reputation. Yep. People know I'm around through a phone call. They see what I'm doing. So I love that you're doing that. Before we cut out of here, what's next for DJ EFM? What are you working on now? Oh, man, I'm trying to do a lot. Um, definitely the Coming Home series, like I said, and we're in post-production with uh, South Africa. And then we have Colombia that we, we haven't released to the public yet. Um, and then we're working on deals to try to further the series and, and have it you know, keep, keep producing more episodes. Um, I got another podcast called fatherhoods, which is about being, you know, fathers and hip hop basically. And, and we talk to different artists and executives and, and people in the game about parenting basically. And, um, I got products, uh, Colombian whites, this liquor that I, that I have out here in Miami. Um, a ton of stuff, man. I'm working with monster energy. They got my back and, and, and I got just my hands in a bunch of different things, man. So I'm just, Keep him pushing. I love what you're doing, man. Even with that fatherhood podcast, again. Thank you. You're, 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 you're aging the right way in hip hop, brother. Thank <laughs> you know, because back in the days, you, people didn't want anybody to know. I'm married. I got, I got, I got kids. Now we got people in hip hop with grandkids. So we got Bumby talking about being a grandfather on there. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Where can people find you? Uh, at uh, DJ EFN on Twitter at who's crazy on Instagram. Crazyhood.com is the website. Drinkchamps.com at drinkchamps, everything. Nice, nice, nice. E, it has been my pleasure. You have dropped so many invaluable gems for our audience. You know, I'm sure my phone is going to be lighting up once we release this, man. No, thank you, man. You know, continue blessings and, and, and continue success to you. Congratulations on the recent birth of your son. And just you, know, in this world of hip hop, in just world of entertainment, you are a true power move maker. Continue Appreciate blessings. You. Thank you, Pres. Appreciate you, man. Peace. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.